furniture shouldn't have cup holders, okay? Furniture that goes in your house, this is this is a no. This is a, a hard pass. Thank you so much for clicking and watch this video. If you are new here, my name is Sandy and on this channel we talk about pursuing a career in interior design and home decor. Today's video is on the home decor side because I'm sharing my favorite items from rooms to go. Alright, keep on watching if you're in the market for some furniture. Alright, I'm going to be really honest. My first impressions of rooms to go were, they weren't good. They were not good. I gave it like a D plus at best <laughs> because when I think of rooms to go and then prior to me researching and filming this video when I think of rooms to go I think of like those ugly recliner sofas that are all leather that have like cup holders furniture shouldn't have cup holders okay furniture that goes in your house this is this is a no this is a, a hard pass it, it, a home theater, maybe even then, I would suggest a drink table. Uh, so not even maybe. Screw that. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. I retract that statement. I retract that statement immediately. Drink tables are much better than a cup holder. The first piece is the piece that I ended up buying. I own this piece. It is the Metro Lounge Sectional, I believe. And uh, it's a two-piece sectional. It has like the long chaise piece and then the sofa cedar piece. I love this thing. It is very comfortable. I can take the covers off and I can wash them. I really, really like that. It's a polyfill, not a downfill, if you're familiar. Instead of like having the down feathers for filling, it just has like a kind of just uh, like a like the stuff that, that's stuffed inside the teddy bear, kind of inside the sofa. Um, very cool. And my roommate was adamant about this. Sometimes when you buy a sofa that has a chaise piece like that, when you lay out on it, your feet stick over the edge, and we do not like that. I was willing to compromise about it. She was, uh, -uh. she was not about. It. She laid down on every single sofa. <laughs> we went everywhere to all these stores, and she was like, mm -mm, "My feet are hanging over. Absolutely not. We're not buying this one." So the ours has like a 76 inch. Um, chase that's long enough so her feet don't hang over because she's like 5'2 <laughs> but they, they also have one that has a 105 version where it's like 105 inches which is like an extra of course I mean almost 30 freaking inches so uh, that is a great option if you're a taller person another sofa that caught my eye was from their Sofia Vergara collection it is uh, this emerald green sofa that's velvet I like velvet sofas I have a thing for them <laughs> if you see my video uh, my last week's video about Home Depot and some home decor items from Home Depot yes it's not just a hardware store um, then you know that I really like them so this sofa I do not own it but I did see it in the store and one of my girlfriends owns it so I've sat on it slept on it I napped on it it was really really comfy and super cute moving on to accent chairs this one is called the Avino, I believe, accent chair, and I love it. I really, really want it. I love when chairs cantilever over, so if you'll notice, the chair has like a base, has like kind of this, this tubular metal base, and then it comes up, and then the seat hangs over, so there's nothing in between this space. And that allows your legs to not constantly knock into the legs of the chair. Uh, so I, I really, really like that. And it's just, it looks comfy and cozy. I like the beige with the brass, but it also comes in black leather and a navy blue leather. And side note, a pitfall. <laughs> so it's not that Rooms to Go has like super, super ugly things all the time. It's just that everything it looks similar. So you'll buy a whole set and then the, the chair will be matching with the accent with the accent thing and then, and then the, the dining, or I'm sorry, the coffee table will be super matchy-matchy. That's the biggest probably mistake, that it's all too matchy-matchy. So you can buy pieces from this retailer, just make sure that you scour and look and take the proper time to get pieces that mix and match because that gives you that cohesive, layered, intentional, designer look that you want for your own. Moving on to the Tamarix? Tamarix? I felt like I wanted to say Matrix. I don't know why. Uh, swivel chair. 
Ooh, this one is such a looker. I like this chair a lot. It's kind of like a bucket seat a little bit. And what is super great about this is that bucket seats are normally kind of uncomfortable. They're usually a shallow seat that's like 20 inches or something because they're kind of for perching. You know, you just sit here for a little bit, but this one's 30 inches deep. Ooh, that means you can like sit crisscross applesauce, you can swivel around and be a kid like you're spinning in an office chair. I love a swivel seat. Muncie accent chair. I love how angular it looks. It has like all this, all the space that would normally be filled in is like cutouts. And that just looks like a work of art. It looks sculptural. And I love when furniture looks like that. It's not just there for your know, function. It's really, really pr pretty and pleasing to the eye in, in a way that you wouldn't expect from something like this. These would be great dining chairs. Of course, an accent chair as well, but it doesn't seem comfortable enough for uh, like a reading nook, you know? It's really just like a looker kind of chair. Next in line is the Zitto White Accent Chair. So for me, I'm not usually one for cutesy furniture, but this was so cute. Like even I was like, aww. <laughs> uh, it has this almost terrazzo look. So terrazzo is a stone that comes with a lot of different aggregate in it where it almost looks like the your countertop is like polka dotted kind of a little bit and it has that same look in the fabric that just creates this kind of playfulness and fun to it and I think this one might be my favorite accent chair. It's not for everybody, okay? This is a particular piece for a particular gal, but I had to put her on here. Alvy White Accent Chair. Woo! She looks cozy. It's glam. This chair makes me feel like I'm a movie star and I'm sitting in my glam room and my trailer and the makeup artist is doing my hair and the hairstylist is doing this and I'm on my phone and there's my assistant. It's just, <laughs> it gives that vibe, that glam vibe. It has nice, solid, um, that kind of like brass gold look on the leg. So this one's labeled as a cocktail table, but it seems big enough that you could use it for a coffee table. The Brookmere Natural Cocktail Table, I believe is what they call it. It's a great price at just uh, $200 or so, which isn't too bad for a coffee table. What I really liked about it and why I wanted to include it is the detail on the top of, uh, of the surface. It looks almost like woven a little bit and it has like a lip so things aren't gonna like fall off if you like move it around. Uh, but it also had these kind of mid-century looking legs where it's not bulky underneath and it seems like easily moved around if you live in a small place. And this one's a little on the pricey side. But he was such a looker, I had to like put him in there. I felt this piece was sexy. It's not weird. Am I the only one who thinks that furniture sometimes is sexy? Like, have you ever seen a piece and been like, ooh, it's your name. What is your name? So technically this is called the Gritten Brown Cocktail or Coffee Table. Uh, but I honestly think I'd call it the Christian Grey Coffee Table because I feel like I would see this in his condo or his penthouse, whatever it was. I also really pay a lot of attention to set design and furniture and things in movies. Oh my gosh, the set design for Fifty Shades was so, so gorgeous and beautiful. Every piece just felt like that character and whoever did it did such a freaking good job. But moving on to the Kinsman coffee table. This one at first is deceiving, right? It looks like it's just a simple plain white table, but then it splits out, right? <laughs> splits out into like three different Tables. It's like, ooh, you thought I was one table? No, I'm three tables. Fooled you. <laughs> and it feels like a like like a Swiss Army knife of coffee tables. If that makes sense. <laughs> I thought that that was a really cool feature, and it's not coming in at a terribly bad price for such a functional item. So it's definitely, if you need more function in out of your furniture, something that that splits up into three varying height surfaces would be great because you can close it up when you are alone and just need one surface, and then when you're entertaining, of course, you have more surfaces. So, moving on to the Miranda Brown cocktail table, Miranda. I feel like if this table was a member of Sex and the City. I actually don't think it would be much of a Miranda, but that's what it's called, <laughs> so we're gonna go with it. I put this in here because even though it's so simple, I love that little gold band at the bottom. It just like, it's like a touch of ding. It's like, oh, you thought I was playing, but I'm not though. Like, it was just like, ooh. Uh, I love, love, love that accent. And last but definitely not least, I think it's called the Dalhousie, 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 Dalhousie. Dollhouse, 
whatever. Well, how, how do you think it's pronounced? Please, somebody let me know in the comments. <laughs> but it's the natural cocktail table again, but could be used as a coffee table as well. This one's a little bit more steep in price at just a, a little over 700, but I include it in here because it had a really nice detail and it just looked like a much more high-end piece than I think I would see at some place like Rooms to Go. It has the top that almost reminds me of like a, a rock garden where you know all the, all the rocks or you can place the rocks however you want to and then you take like the rake and you just kind of move it around or the small ones that people will have on their desk and you'll just like rake and it's supposed to be calming it gives me that effect and then the color of it looks like sand so i really like that about it and i thought that detail was really cool and that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching please let me know what was your favorite piece down below did you have the same you know uh a view of rooms to go furniture like I did um, and please please again if you liked this video and you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button below I always say at the end of my videos if you like it you need to put a ring on it you know if you like it you need to put a ring on it by subscribing you know if you like it then you need to subscribe to it if you like it then you need to subscribe to it. <laughs> oh, I'm a great wife I cook I clean I do the whole thing just click that button and marry me down below. <laughs> Bye.